Alright guys, welcome back to the third episode of our Metal Gear Solid 5 Let's Play. Um, we left off getting, we saw some lights, not really sure what's coming, but uh, definitely doesn't look good. I think we're going to be able to crawl under here and uh, try and evade detection. It's been a pretty crappy day so far. Yeah. Uh, guards have come into this hospital from what it looks like, and we are in Cyprus, we know that. Yeah. And they have started killing patients and nurses alike. That bandage guy there has saved our ass about, I'm not exaggerating, five times. Yes. I thought they were gonna spot him there. So kind of risk it. Yeah, they did find someone, and yeah, he did risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. That's his motto. You cannot win the raffle if you do not buy a ticket. You cannot <laughs> win the raffle if you do not buy a ticket. Still kind of disappointed our guy doesn't look like Zlatan right now. Yeah, soon enough. Alright, so we can turn 360 degrees. Without the guards hearing us. I think you're just going to have to start us. moving. After or just stay. Leave. I mean, they're gone. <laughs> Anything? Looks like the classic Metal Gear Solid 5 prone view, though, with the smaller screen and the shadow around the edges. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're posting up. Start moving. Into that crouch. Oh. He's dead. Hey, man. Yeah. Well. I don't see a gunshot wound. Oh, he's dead. He's yeah, definitely he's dead. Yeah, not moving. But <laughs> that much is clear. Still not a gunshot wound. So. I'm pretty shocked about that. No blood on the uniform. Are they not just down this hallway, I believe? Get down on your stomach and crawl. Yeah, crawl through the blood. A decent plan. They're right there. If you move, we're done for. Play dead. Security guards are not that great at their job. They have no. one hallway. Now there's four of them. We're dead, we swear. If we did this correctly, it's all going to work out. Uh... I'm kind of tempted to move. We are in normal... <laughs> yeah, we have no blood on us. I'm breathing pretty heavily. <laughs> We're fairly obviously not dead. All clear. <laughs> I have, I have a very bad feeling I'm gonna have to do something and I'm gonna screw up. I think. I no no no. I think they're they're gonna get there. They're gonna get a radio, and then they're gonna go through the other door. All clear. Yeah. You, now there's perfectly clean bodies right right in front of you. Wait, we are in between two. Is he pairs. pissing himself? Oh man. Oh no, no! <laughs> it's just water from the from the uh, floor. No, I think he peed. Oh no, uh, it's a bag. Uh oh. Don't do it, man. You don't want to do this. Well, we know we're not the only one seeing this thing, then. Yes. It was the same guy that we saw earlier in uh, episode two of the Let's Play. Uh-huh. Maybe that is the Phantom Pain. It's possible. 
I don't know if they would introduce the title character. Actually, well, actually, the I don't doctor. Even know there is a phantom page. The doctor said you'll become the phantom. Yes. Well, I uh, I saw some speculation that the phantom pain was referring to um, it was like a sensation that amputees experience. Oh, and really? Since he lost his uh, his left hand from about the wrist, it seems like that may be what it's referring to. But definitely gonna have to figure it out. It could be a double entendre and have multiple meanings. So we don't know. Remember, play dead. <laughs> now the leg screwed up. Oh man. This guy's taking an attack chopper fire like it's nothing. And just one shot killed us. I think he's like... I think it's a robot. Damn it. Coming. I think. Oh. It's possible. This is 1982. Yes. I bet he's fine. Still standing. I'm sure. Oh, he did that cool thing where you like drop down on one knee. He kind of looks like Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You can do magic too. We gotta go. Yeah, he. That dude is right behind <laughs> you. This guy's not missing you. I have a feeling this guy's on our side. No way we're out running. Yeah, man. yeah, pistol's really gonna pistol's really gonna do something. I think that's the suppressor. Not that it'll do anything. Do it. Oh man. Do it. Got the sprinklers going. How it looks like Batman. Without the cape. In red. And on fire. But other than that, it's Batman. <laughs> Hold on. We better stop and treat that injury. Oof. Ah! Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna hop right back on that foot. Yeah, we're good. What's the action? I don't understand how you do it. I don't... I don't get it, either. <laughs> maybe, uh... Since I hit that, maybe it's pause and you get more information about that. Maybe, yeah. Let's race. Oh, we're not going. <laughs> nah, just kidding. You can go first. <laughs> okay. Going through this door. This guy seems to know his way around uh, the building quite a, little a bit better. Too well. <laughs> too well. Yeah. Granted, we have been in a coma. Yeah, we don't really know how long this guy's had to learn the hallway, so. Uh oh. I just not. Yes. I not that. <laughs> Over. Ooh! Did you shoot him? No. I think he might have. I'm hoping I can grab a weapon here. I think it was the suppressor. I was gonna say, yeah. if he takes the gun. <laughs> I'm guessing you'll have a chance to shoot the uh, sprinkler pretty soon here. Know how to shoot a gun? Hold down the aim button to aim. Then press the attack button to fire. Destroy it. Oh, oh, the fire extinguisher? Yeah. I shoot below it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta reload. Oh. See, uh, see what the other camera option is. That? You know, it said if you tap R1. And... Yeah, that's that. Oh, okay. Where are we going now? I don't know. 
hopefully not too far. Boom. Boom. Calm down. Don't be so reckless. You hold circle to reel. I think he has to go first, yeah. Tell you what, the thing I like about this game compared to, um, let's say it's just a just another shooter, yeah, is that you're in in the other shooter, you're in this hospital for maybe what ten minutes, yeah, but it's really they develop the storylines a little bit more than, or a lot more than uh, most traditional first person shooters would. And this this is going to be right. probably by the end of this episode, this is going to be an hour. Yes. And, Granted, we messed around with the little intro cinematic and the avatar for a little bit, but what, I, I don't even think we're halfway through the hospital stuff. Yeah, Maybe we'll, a little halfway. We'll see, we'll see. It's uh, definitely going to be interesting. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. Give me my gun. The majority of the game is open world, so I'm kind of enjoying the, uh, the guided focus. Yes. Sharpshooter. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. That, uh, that's actually a new feature in Metal Gear Solid this year. It's called uh, the Reflex Window. And uh, it gives you a little bit of an opportunity if you're detected. And here we'll see it again. Uh, you basically have time to get one at the maximum two shots off uh, to uh, try and use your superior reflexes to outsmart your opponent because... As we all know, the protagonist, um, Snake, has some supernatural abilities. Give me another gun? No. Did we lose well, the right bandage guy? Nope. There he is. There he is. Of course, right when I say we're about halfway through the hospital. No, nope. we're leaving the hospital. We're leaving the hospital. <laughs> Ooh. That was weird. So now we are trapped with the tank between us and our ally. And whatever this is. Oh, it's that floating thing again, yeah. I think. Just using telekinesis, lifting stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. That thing is scary. Yes. You'll notice uh, it is missing its hands. Could play into the uh, the phantom pain amplification theme a bit. It's definitely helping us out so far, though. Yeah, I was, I was really. Whoa, is that that thing I again? I believe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, if we have a showdown with that thing. Oh, that's gonna stink. We better be uh, a little bit more well. We better equipped. have a different gun, yeah. <laughs> or just a lot of sprinklers. <laughs> oh, I uh, I noticed that uh, there was some shrapnel on him, kind of similar to uh, the game discussed with regards to all the shrapnel remaining in uh, in Stink's body. Kind of looked like the X-rays that the doctor showed us at the it start does, of the game. Yeah. I'm guessing they have. Yeah. See, you can uh, you can see that they're kind of trying to drive that point home by showing the bullets going into them, just like Snake had after the accident. Oh man. I really like the slow mo that they're incorporating. Yeah. It really sort of slows uh, slows it down and makes you appreciate just how like 
Yeah, it's a hallmark. Stunning. It's a hallmark of the Metal Gear Metal Gear series. Another way they do this, unfortunately, is extremely gory cutscenes. Yes, <laughs> as we did see in Ground Zeroes. It's just what I wanted. A showdown. A showdown. And like I said, I'm, I still think this guy's on our side. Michael Prone. Yeah, maybe I should. You see that uh, over to the left there? You can go under it. Get away, really. Run outside, I don't know. I crawl under that. Uh, there's a lot of Not fire. Not the fire. There. Yeah. Oh. He knows. He knows I'm here. You ran in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he can open doors. I think we're gonna have to go out the front. Maybe I'll just pop him right in the face. Oh, yeah. lovely, <laughs> lovely damage. See if you can spot like a fire extinguisher or a sprinkler. Yeah, I'm perhaps. going up here. For you. The fire alarm on the wall. Yeah. I feel like I'm trapping myself right now. Well, depends on if you're going to take damage here. There he is, right? There. I'm probably going to jump as soon as he gets up to the top of the stairs. I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna wait until he gets like right around that area. And I'll probably jump. I'm sure he's gonna jump too, though. <laughs> oh, whoa! Not a, not a single inch. Of oh, we can get out. Yeah. Oh, do the quick dive! Quick dive! <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfectly timed. There's How that lovely. tank. There's that tank. Maybe, maybe it's our bandage guy driving it. No, it's probably not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, the flame guy's here. Don't worry. We don't have to do anything. We just wait. He'll probably explode again. Something like that. Whoa. Oh, man. Now, it's weird. It looks like they're working together. But... It does. They're definitely related, I think. Yeah, but the... The flame girl? The one that floats? Kind of looks like it was on our side. It's true. Honestly, they may not be on anyone's side. Maybe we should just respect their powers. <laughs> oh, oh, this is where you're talking about for- Oh! oh whoa! Yep. yep. Ah! There's that trademark gore. I don't want to see the face. <laughs> Snake's just... Yeah, Snake. Not trying to mess with that. No, I wouldn't. Out this way. Lovely. Yeah, they may have spotted us. Whoa! That doesn't look good. I think that was the prologue. Alright, guys, well. Now that we've uh, finished the prologue, it seems, um, I think that's going to wrap up episode three of our Let's Play. And um, let's see what happens here, actually. Yeah, let's just wait a second. All right, yeah, this looks like a pretty good stopping point. I think give we're me, Give you to... some suspe suspense, some edge. Yeah. I'm out of ammo. I am out of ammo. 
bandage face. Awesome. Just awesome. Get in. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this Let's Play. Um, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions or things you'd like for us to hear, uh, comment below. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe, and we're going to catch you.